that report along with an accompanying letter uh, which you're right is dated November of 2020. Um, and to give you a brief history of that, that surfaced last year prior to the Belize district elections. Um, again, that report is not the official report as submitted by the former treasurer. That is a fabricated report that was aimed to mislead the members of the Belize district branch. Um, and that was proven via the results of that election because uh, the fabricator of that report and letter was blown out three to one. So if it is that there was any truth to that report or accompanying letter, then clearly the members of the Belize district uh, who received that misleading and libelous uh, uh, um, uh, report and letter would have, of course, uh, taken um, issue with it and would have ensured uh, that um, the originator or the fabricator uh, perhaps would have been successful. But the fact that she was blown out three to one speaks volume that uh, the report was a fabrication. It was misleading. It is untrue and it does not reflect the position of or the reality of the Belize District Branch. Is it your opinion then that the report contains pure falsehood and you have documentation to prove that all what is contained there is false? Yeah. Um, Hippolito, uh, as you can attest, the reason why you came here today is because we ensured that we provided to you every single piece of receipt and information and explanation in accordance with good accounting principles so that you yourself could have verified that in fact the, the correct report for the Belize City uh, for the Belize District Branch is a different from that fabricated and misleading report. So I don't have to answer that question. You yourself would be able to in your com commentary state that that is not the official position and that is of not the official report of the Belize District Branch.